Hey, thanks for stopping by. Before we get started with the content today, I just wanted to thank everybody. We just passed 10,000 subscribers. I wanted to make sure that I congratulated Dustin. He was a 10,000th subscriber. He'll be getting a little Christmas, a late Christmas present in the mail. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate all the comments and I'm looking for input for content for 2022. I'm thinking about doing some live uh, stuff, some projects from start to finish, but I'd really like to hear what you'd like to see. Um, if we need some different content uh, in the mix that's not light burn related, I certainly am open to that. I will be getting into some sublimation content. We've just started that process and I'm learning lots about that. Having a lot of fun. Matter of fact, you can see the, uh, the, the press that I'm working with in the back. So we'll be showing you some more of that as we go. Um, this content that you're going to see today, it, I shot it on my phone. It was kind of an impromptu deal, uh, but I had a customer where I had done a project. It was completed. And at the very last minute, the customer came back and said, hey, can you add some text uh, next to some existing text that I already lasered? Now, the, fi the, the piece was finished. I had already put finish on it. It was ready to go out the door. And when they asked me to add some things to the piece, I said, yeah, we'll be able to do that. And so I'm going to show you how to line that up today. If you learn how to use the laser position tool when you're in absolute coordinates, it can be an absolute game changer on either having to add something after the fact or lining something back up in your laser. Let's say that you wanted to use absolute coordinates and you've got, let's say, a four inch coaster and you were going to put a design on that coaster. The tricky part about absolute coordinates is how do I know where the design is going to be when I put that uh, slate coaster in my laser bit? How do I know where that's going to be? I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly and easily today. Uh, one thing I will note is when you're going to use the laser position tool uh, and you're in absolute coordinates, you want to make sure that number one, you've already uh, established focus uh, because what's going to happen is when you use this laser position tool, if you drive it over to the uh, where your product is going to be and you haven't done that, you could have the possibility of a head crash. So you want to make sure that everything's all set as far as uh, uh, focus is concerned. So you have no chance of having a, a head crash uh, on your laser with the product that you've got in your laser. So just be careful that way. So. Okay, so before we go to the project, I wanted to just give you some basics about the laser position tool. This right here that looks like a hot air balloon is called the laser position tool. And when you're in absolute coordinates, uh, this can be a really nice tool to be able to get the design that you have in your desktop in Lightburn in sync with what's on your laser bed. That's probably the biggest problem with absolute coordinates is I know where it is here on my desktop, but when I go to put the material into the laser, how do I know where that's supposed to be? Well, this is the quickest and easiest way to do that. What will happen is I don't care where this design is. We just picked a, we just picked kind of middle of our laser bed. And so what I'm going to do is in order to sync the actual uh, material with the design, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to activate this laser position tool so it turns red and then you don't want to click anywhere until you're zoomed in and what I want to do is I want to zoom in and I want to click right on this corner and when I click on this corner nothing's going to happen uh, other than if you're connected you can see I'm disconnected but if I was connected what would happen is your laser head would come from its home position and it would drive to this spot on your bed and so what you would do is you take your four inch coaster and you would put it if, uh, you know, you would put it uh, right here. You would line the uh, coaster up in the top left hand corner. And then to verify that everything's up, uh, set up properly, you could come back here and you could go ahead and click on this corner and the laser head would go from here to here. And you could drive around just to make sure that you're completely uh, where you need to be. And that's as simple as it is to, to establish the sync between what you see on your desktop 
and where your material is on your bed. So just go ahead and click on the laser position tool, click on a known point of reference on your design. Uh, preferably you should be using a frame for something that you're putting in your, like a, if it's a cutting board, you wanna make sure that you're doing a design that outlines your cutting board and they, you just pick a corner on your cutting board and, and then slide your cutting board underneath there and away you go. So uh, the laser position tool is a very handy tool to use. Get used to using it. You're gonna see that it works out great in this project that I'm gonna show you. Let's go check it out. So here's my project. Um, this is a horse measuring tool far as uh, to determine how many hands high a horse is and it's only just the head itself. And the customer decided that they wanted uh, land and livestock right here. And this piece is all done. It's finished, it's ready to go out the door. And uh, they asked if I could do it and I said, sure, no problem. And the easiest way to do this is to make sure that your machine is in uh, excuse me, light burn is in absolute coordinates. You're gonna go back to your design. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the uh, locator tool in light burn. So let's go take a look at that right quick. So I've got my design here. I'm in absolute coordinates. Um, I'm gonna scroll out so you can kind of see. I've already got the land and livestock text in the same text and formatted like I want. But in order to line this up, so this matches with what you have in the laser, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to this little locator tool and click on that and I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna click the very lower portion of this L right there. And what's gonna happen is your laser head is gonna go to wherever on the bed and then what I did is I just took this piece and I moved the piece to make sure that it matched so that way what I have on the desktop is matching what's on the laser. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and drive the laser to the bottom of this end so I can make sure that this piece is lined up uh, on the laser in conjunction with the software. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the little tool. I'm gonna come out here to the very last word that's already lasered and I'm going to click right on the bottom and your laser head is going to go to the bottom of that end and so what I would need to do is I would need, need to move this piece to make sure that this is a level line. Now as long as it's level in the software I know that I'm going to have a nice straight line when I additionally engraved uh, land and livestock. And so what I'm gonna do next is just to make sure, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, select this here. Then I'm gonna go to my L. This is the new text that hasn't been burnt yet. And I'm gonna drive my head, I clicked it. It drove my head to where the, that lower part of that new text is. That looks good. Then I'm gonna do the same thing at the very end. I'm gonna go back to my globe, to my locator tool. I'm gonna to come down here to the very bottom of livestock and I'm gonna go ahead and click that. That will drive my laser to where that bottom of that K is gonna be. Now I'm awful close to this piece, but that's why I'm using a four inch lens because I can go ahead and engrave this and I'm about 13 millimeters away and it'll engrave the same as this. So that's one way you can, you can get away with it. The next thing I'm gonna do is just frame it. So I'm gonna come back here. I've only got just the new text selected and I'm gonna go ahead and frame it. And so you're gonna see pretty much where it's gonna go. And I'm pretty conf confident now on, if you scroll this back and forth, you can see that it touches all of the bottom so I'm parallel. So I think I'm ready to go. I think we could probably pull the trigger on this thing and go ahead and get her engraved. But using absolute coordinates and the locator tool to find existing things that are already designed uh, and maybe finished on your work, this little tool right here 
called the laser position uh, can really come in handy. Okay, here we go. Now because I've got this piece all done, there's no going back. So you wanna be real sure about what you're doing here and double and triple check kind of your alignment, that kind of stuff. Because once you uh, pull the trigger on this, you're starting all over again. And I really don't wanna do that. So it's gonna finish up here in just a second. And because I've already got finish on it, that uh, residue, that engraving residue should wipe right off. So just about done here. Let's see how we did. There we go. All right. Moment of truth here. So that's how you can add some additional engraving after a piece is done, you pulled it out of the laser and you need to kind of get back in sync for your design. Using absolute coordinates is certainly one way, but it's about the only time I use it. Hope this was helpful guys. Have a great day.